Queridos amigos, mi nombre es Carlos Aguasaco. Uh, I am a uh, chair of the Department of Interdisciplinary Studies at the City College Center for Open Education. Yo soy el director del Departamento de Estudios Interdisciplinarios en el eh, Centro para la Educación del Trabajador del de City College de la Ciudad de Nueva York. We are already, we are already streaming via Facebook Live, YouTube Live, and Twitter. So anything you say might, might be used against you in a court of law. Cualquier no cosa que ustedes digan. Como estamos transmitiendo en vivo, eh, cualquier cosa que ustedes digan puede y seguramente será usado en contra de ustedes en una corte, ¿ok? Uh, so, I'll, I just want to let our eh, eh, friends following us on, on YouTube Live, Facebook Live eh, and Twitter Live that uh, uh, um, we are about to begin, we will begin in, a, in about uh, five minutes. So, in the meantime, we are going to stay playing this beautiful video that shows all the feature points of the 10th edition of the America's Poetry Festival of New York. So we'll be back in a moment. In the meantime, enjoy, enjoy the music, enjoy the video. Thank you. 
Do we make it? No, no, no. So this is what we call the second call, okay? This is the second call for the 10th edition of the America's Poetry Festival of New York. Esta es la segunda llamada, esta es la segunda llamada para comenzar la décima edición del Festival de Poesía de las Américas. I will be switching back and forth between Spanish and broken English, obviously. I will start cambiando todo el tiempo entre el español y mi mal inglés. Uh, and, uh, so this is the second call, es la segunda llamada. And in the meantime, if anyone needs to use the restroom, si alguien necesita utilizar el baño, uh, for your information, the restrooms are located behind the screen. Para su información, los que necesiten usar el baño, la, los baños están ubicados detrás de la pantalla. And I do not mean for you to actually come here behind the screen. You have to go around the auditorium, and around the auditorium, in the position that is behind the screen, you will find the restrooms. Y lo que les quiero decir es que aunque los baños están detrás de la pantalla, no quiere decir que vengan por detrás de la pantalla, sino que vayan alrededor del auditorio y pueden utilizar los baños eh, que están en la parte de atrás del auditorio. So again, I'm uh, Professor Carlos Aguasaco. Um, yo soy Carlos Aguasaco. This is the second call to begin the America's Poetry Festival of New York 2023. La décima edición va a comenzar en un momento. We will begin in a couple of minutes. Vamos a comenzar en unos minutos. Please, please stay, enjoy, enjoy the, the music. These are the feature poets. These are the poets that are participating in this state edition of the America's Poetry Festival of the Year. We will begin in a couple of minutes. Well, well, I published my book in Spanish. I have a book in Spanish. 
Okay. Good evening. My name is Carlos Aguasato. Buenas, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Mi nombre es Carlos Aguasato. And let us begin the 10th edition of the America's Poetry Festival. Vamos a comenzar la décima edición del Festival de Poesía de las Américas de Nueva York. This is the 10th, 10 years in a row, 10 años seguidos. Okay? And uh, um, although I am not the MC, uh, today I have to do some introductions and remarks before we officially begin the program. Aunque yo no soy el maestro de ceremonias, eh, tengo que hacer algunos comentarios antes de comenzar de manera oficial el programa. Our MC tonight is going to be distinguished poet, Dominican American poet, Irene Santos López. Irene Santos is, he is the person is the person running the show tonight. Ella, la persona que nos va a presentar hoy es la distinguidísima poeta dominicoamericana Irene Santos López. She is the one who's going to be calling the poets to the eh, podium only for that, the readings. Okay? Ella es la persona que va a estar llamando para hacer las lecturas. As I said before, I will be switching back between, between Spanish and broken English. Uh, for, uh, uh, for we have public... Uh, we have public all around the world. Tenemos público en todo el mundo. Ahora mismo nos están observando desde Colombia, desde México, desde España. And we have more people. To, to the people who are online, if you're watching this stream online, please write your comments in Facebook Live, YouTube Live, or Twitter, and I will share the streaming with all of you. I will share your comments with uh, everybody who's watching this transmission. Para las personas que nos están viendo en línea a través de Facebook Live, YouTube Live, y Twitter Live, por favor, escriban sus comentarios para poderlos compartir. Tenemos público en este momento, también en Colombia, en México, en España, and we are waiting for more people to report, ¿ok? So, in Florida as well, we also have people in, even in Florida, right? Y también tenemos gente en la Florida viendo nuestra, nuestra transmisión. So, uh, uh, I'm going to take a moment of your time to tell you uh, about uh, this place, ¿ok? We are uh, located at the City College Division of Interdisciplinary Studies at the Center for Worker Education. We are a division of the City College of the City University of New York. Estamos ubicados en el Centro para la Educación del Trabajador, una división eh, fuera del campus de el City College de la Universidad de la Ciudad de Universidad Pública de la Ciudad de Nueva York. We are the oldest urban institution in the United States. Somos la la, la eh, institución urbana más antigua en los Estados Unidos, the eh, Human Institution of Higher Education in the United States. We are about, uh, uh, um, we have one, we have ten Nobel Prizes, including one a couple of years ago, maybe four, five years ago. Tenemos diez premios Nobel en esta institución. And two, and two by, 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 by female colleagues, yeah. Y eh, uno de ellos hace, eh, un, hace unos cuatro o cinco años. Uh, but we, we also have, we also have uh, some beautiful things to say about the City College of New York. City College of New York is, is ranked number one in the nation in social mobility. Along MIT, we are number one in making people know from the working class to the middle class. The City College of New York is the number one in the país in mobility social. We, we move, this institution moves more people from the working class to the middle class than all the Ivy League universities together. Nosotros en esta institución ayudamos a que las personas de la clase trabajadora lleguen a la clase media y solos en esta institución hacemos más que todas las universidades de la, de la liga eh, Ivy League juntas. Uh, and right here in this division of campus we have, a, uh, we have a mission. Our mission is to help people who work and attend the university. Uh, uh, nuestra misión aquí es educar a personas que trabajan. You tell me, who can live in New York? Who can afford New York without going to school in New York and also without working? Every, every single student in New York City is, in one way or another, a worker. Cada estudiante de, de, de Nueva York, ¿quién puede, ¿quién puede vivir en esta ciudad sin trabajar? ¿Y ¿Quién puede estudiar acá sin, sin, sin trabajar? So we have, uh, right here, we have three programs. We have a BA in Early Childhood Education. We, we, tenemos un programa en educación infantil that grants a teaching license from uh, pre-K to second grade uh, uh, in the state of New York. Que ese, ese programa de educación da una licencia para enseñar hasta segundo grado en el estado de Nueva York. We also have a, uh, the Bachelor of Arts in, in Interdisciplinary Studies. Tenemos un, una, un pregrado de estudios interdisciplinarios with seven concentrations, con siete concentraciones. 
And uh, we also have a master's degree in the study of the Americas. Tenemos un programa de maestría en el estudio de las Americas. The study of Americas, Carlos, yes, the study of Americas. Thanks to the leadership of the Mercado, we created the only, the first and only master's degree in the study of the Americas. We do not believe in the artificial division between Latin American studies and American studies. No creemos en la división artificial entre estudios latinoamericanos y estudios americanos. Look at us. We are in New York, and we are all showing the rich diversity of the peoples and cultures of the Americas. Miremos, estamos acá en Nueva York con toda la rica diversidad de las personas y los pueblos de las Américas. We also have a couple of programs in, in, in the works. We are we're working on two MA programs, one in international education and another one in, 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 in instructional design. Estamos trabajando en dos programas eh, en línea de maestría, to master degree, degrees, one in, in, in uh, instructional design and another one in, 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 in international education. Estamos trabajando en, la, en dos programas de creación de, de educación, uno en educación internacional y otro en diseño de currículos, en diseño eh, eh, académico. And uh, we are also putting together another, another uh, bachelor's degree in social justice uh, and urban life. Estamos también desarrollando un nuevo pregrado en eh, eh, justicia social y eh, estudios urbanos. And last but not least, okay, we are putting together uh, a creative writing workshop in poetry in Spanish. Y finalmente estamos poniendo juntos un taller de poesía, taller de escritura creativa en poesía en España. With all that being said, let me introduce you to my boss and my mentor and my friend. Uh, uh, you're not asking me, but let me tell you that all my, my co-workers come from different disciplines. We have anthropologists, historians, mathematicians, lawyers, sociologists, psychologists, doctors in education, and someone who does Latin American studies, which is me. And I have the luck to be working with my dean, who is also a Latin Americanist. Ustedes no me están preguntando, pero dejen de decirles que trabajo con antropólogos, historiadores, filósofos, abogados, doctores en educación, pero hay una persona que hace estudios latinoamericanos, que soy yo, y tengo la suerte de trabajar con mi jefe, que es también un latinoamericano. I'm, I'm glad to introduce you to my dean, my boss, my mentor, uh, Dean Juan Carlos Mercado, who's always here to support this initiative. Professor. Nuestro decano, el profesor Juan Carlos Mercado. Ok, gracias, Carlos. Ya, Carlos, este, les dijo absolutamente todo acerca de nuestra institución. Uh, Carlos already said everything about our institution. We are extremely proud to work here. Uh, also because what Carlos said, but I'm going to add something else. Um, estamos muy orgullosos de trabajar en esta institución, eh, pero voy a agregar algunas cosas que eh, se le pasaron a Carlos. Um, además de los premios Nobel que hemos tenido, eh, mucha gente pasó por las aulas de esta institución eh, en las humanidades y en las ciencias sociales. Uh, besides the Nobel Prize winners, uh, we have interest in an amazing people that came to social sciences and humanities. The first Hispanic in getting the Pulitzer Prize came to City College, and probably you know very well of Cariquelos, the Mambo King. He was extremely devoted to this institution, and even though he created a chair under his name. El primer hispano en recibir el Pulitzer Prize uh, fue Oscar Juegos, que todos lo conocerán a través de, de una de sus obras más importantes, eh, Mambo King. Pero también quiero mencionar otro gran escritor que pasó por nuestras aulas y es un gran eh, donor de nuestra institución. Casualmente la semana pasada tuvimos un evento con él y me refiero al gran escritor afroamericano Walter Mosley. Uh, Walter Mosley is the, one, of the, one of the most important African American writers. He came to City College, he got away from City College, and uh, he was the creator of the publishing certificate program that is directed by a very good friend of us, a great writer, a great translator from Guatemala. David Anger. Uh, he made the, probably the best <laughs> translation of the Popol Vuh. Uh, but besides that, he's also 
uh, a novelist and, and a writer in, in general. So I, I don't want to extend. I wanted to welcome all of you on behalf of my president, our president, uh, Dr. Vincent Boudreau, uh, as well as our provost, Tony, Tony Liss. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we are going to have a great event. Estoy seguro que vamos a tener un gran evento y este, los quiero recibir en nombre de mi presidente, nuestro presidente rector, eh, Vincent Pudro, y nuestro provost, nuestro jefe de asuntos académicos, Tony Liz. Muchísimas gracias por estar y los recibimos con muchísimo gusto aquí y esperemos que sigan muchos años más eh, este evento, que es el número 10. Y recientemente, casualmente, hemos cumplido 10 años con nuestro Festival de Cine Internacional, que se ha convertido en una marca, eh, no solamente institucional, sino también en una marca eh, a nivel de la ciudad de Nueva York. Uh, not only we just had a birthday with this uh, International Poetry Festival, but also just a few months ago, we finished the last um, 10 edition of the America's Film Festival, an international film festival with movies from all over the world. Uh, again, thank you very much for, for coming. Uh, see you later. And we are going to listen to the boys now. Now, Irene, para ti. Good evening, everyone. Buenas noches, o buenas tardes. Oh, son las seis y veinticuatro. Las, las buenas tardes, entonces, ¿sí? ¿Cómo se sienten? How do you feel? Bien, bien, contentos. Eh, celebrando estos diez años, we are celebrating the 10th anniversary of uh, the America's Poetry Festival. We are very happy, even though we are celebrating a poetry friendship, and um, it's very, um, it's very important to me. Uh, to me, uh, to meet uh, more poets here at the festival and uh, uh, give hugs to everyone and uh, to uh, to see again um, uh, dear people that, that I know for years. Um, and we are celebrating 10 years, but uh, also I think in the world we uh, we feel uh, sad for many things that uh, going on in the world. And I think it's very important to. Uh, to remember this, uh, but uh, I think that with the poetry we can do many things, right? We can uh, 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 go in everywhere, we can listen to our work, and um, uh, okay, we have to work together for the best uh, work, I think, see? Um, I'm not going to talk a lot because uh, we have 16 or 17 poets tonight, I mean basically I'm going to say, okay, from uh, this country, and then um, today we are going to start with um, uh, the Colombian poet, see, um, Elizabeth Torres. Un aplauso. Sí, ahora sí. I thought you meant brandy, like, okay. <laughs> Irene. So, uh, very grateful uh, to Carlos, Carlos and Irene for the invitation. And um, as always, to return to New York, which has been the home of uh, the poetry for many years. And uh, also of my project, Red Door Magazine, which is a cultural magazine also celebrating um, 14 years this year. So the celebrations are many, and um, an absolute awe of the hard work of everyone in our communities, um, making room for poetry, and of course making room for our voices and our testimonies as minorities in this uh, very big, delicious apple. I'll be reading from Loteria, um, winner of the Ambrosia Prize uh, last year by the Academy of American Poets, um, the surprisingly only award by the Academy um, given to American poets who write in Spanish. So very honored to have received it, along with uh, Carlos and many uh, wonderful colleagues, and looking forward to more recognitions of the kind for our communities.
paradise. A half-hearted paradise. The postcard photos but fading. The cost of the ticket depending on the individual. But all drooling to get in. To be part of the circus. The ecstasy, the dream, the future in 3D. They sold it to us and we said, thank you very much, which is my seat number. Eating pamphlets that talked about a melting pot where we would all have a place, where we would all have value, soup, sex, home, warm corner to spend our days, and not broken bones and holes in the veins, and not federal debts like nooses, and not fractured memories of every failed attempt. Red and blue lights chasing any sudden movement, any pre-Columbian trait, any raised fist, or brain incapable of being at peace. When we arrived, the machinery of paradise was already sick. It lay contaminated by political cannibalism. It suffered convulsions when it spoke of equality. It drooled claiming flesh and sweat, bread, loyalty, catatonia, loneliness as sacrifice. What we did not know was that the day's dish on the menu for its insatiable hunger was us. El miedo. Gracias. El miedo. Trigo. Capital. Capital. Piel trigueña. Eucalipto. Ovejas de lana, poema de guerra, caja de madera, titular, blanco y negro, premio y medalla, depresión materna, amenaza de muerte, entrevista, el uniforme, carro blindado, muñeca enfermera, escopeta, desaparecidos. Funeral, el cuerpo desmembrado, montaña, rayuela, accidente de tránsito, un beso en el parque, el concepto de un pecado, la imagen de familia, un copo de nieve que ladra, el miedo, el miedo, el miedo, el miedo, después del miedo, la nada. Para terminar, distintos espantos, lo voy a leer en ambos idiomas, eh, que fue el primer poema que escribí al llegar a Dinamarca, el lugar donde ahora resido desde hace ya casi también 10 años, y eh, en el que eh, quería comentar sobre la... Segunda llegada eh, como migrante a una comunidad después de haber crecido en Estados Unidos como colombiana, eh, adoptar eh, la identidad de americana y llegar a Dinamarca a empezar de nuevo. Distintos espantos. Si no entiendes, amor, las lenguas con las que te acaricio, no las cortes que no vuelven a nacer, Vienen de un trozo de astro distinto, de la condena de los desaparecidos. Cada sílaba es un pájaro migrando al sur, reposando en tu hombro, reclamando un poco de agua. No las espantes, no borres sus nidos de tu boca, que después tus hijos no sabrán volver a ti. Tú y yo no somos el mismo espanto, pero vamos aprendiendo a reflejarnos. No busques mi origen. No intentes traducir los dialectos de mis habitantes. Déjalos bailar en tu cuerpo toda la noche. Déjalos perderse en tu furia toda la vida. Déjalos tejer con su sangre los pedazos de ti que cayeron en la guerra. Pero por favor, no te consideres arqueólogo cada vez que te lleven a mi núcleo. Y si a veces son solo ruidos insensatos los que te llaman, solo tormentas, estornudos y naufragios, 
En una esquina un perro rabioso lamiéndose las patas y el resto solo incendios. ¿Qué ganas con hacerte jaula? ¿Qué ganas con domesticar el grito? ¿Con qué flecha intentas apagar el sol? Si no entiendes, amor, las lenguas con las que te acaricio, de pronto ya nos vamos apagando. De pronto se cumplió la maldición de los ancestros. De pronto nos llegó el fin del mundo y ni cuenta nos dimos. And the one that I will read in English from Loteria to finish up is The Drum to New York City, of course. I thought I was a mole walking underground in a car of the F train, watching the most gruesome scenes of life from station to station. I thought I was softening my skin for the things that matter and that seeing this and surviving that would give me the experience I needed to have both street cred and courage when the time came to face the music. It was easy to live among the rats, make up love songs in Washington Square Park, paint my face and take in the night with the naivety the vampires know how to smell. More than once, one of them tried to rip my life away, thought I had innocence to take, thought I was a woman to be discarded later in an empty alley, thought something of me belonged to them, but I screamed savagely and I ran terrified, the war drum on my chest beating and throwing sparks that later bystanders mistook for stars. Thank you. Continuamos, pues continuamos y ahora seguimos con nuestro viaje uh, y para eso voy a llamar a uh, Jonas El Bossi uh, from um, Marruecos, en, uh, Colombia, ¿sí? En la ciudad de Estados Unidos. Ok, un aplauso para él. So just just quick thing. First of all, I'm very thankful to Carlos, Elena, Carlos, for uh, um, this wonderful event, and I'm very happy and uh, honored to be among you, amongst our accomplished poets. So I'll share some of my uh, uh, poetry. Um, in fact, the last two years I was more watching online, and uh, um, and I was really uh, waiting for the moment that we can actually be together and, and, and share poetry. <clears throat> so the, the, the first one I'm going to read called Departure. Um, there, you'll see that there is a theme, um, they're more around um, um, COVID-19 and the sort of tragic thing in my family. Um, departure. Washing hands had become his obsession. Wear your mask and respect your boundaries. Six feet, he would tell his neighbors when they passed by. The plague hit him, he collapsed into a coma like a dream that never ends. His lover lay across from him in a hospital bed, fighting her airlessness, moving around recklessly, searching for oxygen. It was deep in his dream that her moving and twisting fell on deaf ears. It was suffocating. His dream got deeper and deeper. Before he could wake up, she had died. He never knew till he joined her. The next one is called The Tragedy, and you can see how sort of dark they are. Um, now the house is calm. The sound of birds is heard from afar. The squirrels weave their little tricks by the window and leave. 
I watch you, your calm movement in the corner of the room. I feel as though you're guarding me, a thunder plane, worrying over me and apprehensive. Your love fills the home struck by a tragedy, a miserable one. Your love fills the home struck by a tragedy, a miserable one. I see you staring, innocence in your gaze, your perplexity, your sorrow, your kindness and nobility taking flight into the horizon. Now, now I remember all who encountered you, rushed to you, craved to see you. All who know you look forward to embracing you. O oh, novel one, I know your silence is filled with wisdom. Your silence is charged with the power and power of speech. The phone of soul rings every time, and I hear your dim voice from the other side, telling of her death, your friend, your sister, your dear's companion, Rest assured, mother, your beloved sister's soul is where it belongs, and she remains near you, regardless of the distance, guarding your days as she always did. And I'll read one more. Read this uh, very like uh, short one. Um, leaves, leaves flay, leaves flay often. This will be trees. Branches are cold, ogling their covers on the sidewalks. Sounds of rain, screeching of tarps, noises of leaf blowers. Passerby tree on leaves, so cautious of the rug of trees. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh. I want to take a moment to say hello to all the people who are watching this transmission online. Un momento para decirle hola a todas las personas que están viendo esta transmisión en línea. We have people reporting from different places in the world. Tenemos personas que se están reportando de diferentes lugares en el, en el, en el mundo. And the reason I am asking people to be from this side is because this, this position is because it looks great. En la razón por la que les digo que vienen acá se ve maravilloso en la en la en la en el stream. Um, a couple of, of, of comments. Please try to speak close to the microphone. Try to hablar cerca del micrófono. So the sound is better for the online transmission. Try to be close to the microphone so the sound is better for the streaming. Please, por favor, hablen cerca del micrófono para que se escuche bien en la en la en la transmisión. Eso es eh, muy importante. Jonas. Thank you so much. And Jonas is proof that the open open call for entries that we open every year. We have this open call for entries and we invite people located in the United States to submit their edition to be considered to be a feature poet in the America's Poetry Festival of New York. And Jonas Tobost is one of them. Thank you so much for your support and thank you for being here tonight. Okay, I let you know. Entonces, entonces, hacemos una convocatoria anual y Jonas es una de las personas que ha sido seleccionada este año en la convocatoria anual. Los dejo con Irene, gracias. Thank you, Jonas. And uh, now we are going to, or oh, maybe, a oh, better chicken from Corea, uh, Tanya Ho Huang. Welcome, bienvenida. Hey, Tanya. Close? Yes. Hello, everybody. How are you? I'm so glad you're here. And I thought I was going to be a last. On the list, I was like last. So I was like relaxing, but here we go. So, uh, thank you so much. Um, so, I'm going to read two poems, one in Korean and one in English. So, I time it, so it's going to be six minutes. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to read in Korean. So, I am an immigrant 
and then we came here from all of the places. If we do not speak in your mother tongue, we feel like when I hear some other languages, we feel like, what is that sound? So usually, what I want to trick, that like I'm going to speak in my mother tongue Korean, and you just have an imagination. What is this talking about? And then when I'm reading in Korean, maybe you could guess. Whoa, that's what I was exactly thinking. So let's see how it goes. Kidari. 너를 생각하면 비가 온다. 너를 부르면 빛 속에서 너가 걸어온다. 너에게 닿으려면 넌 사라진 빛 속으로. 생마를 한 줌과 한 은큼의 쓰디쓴 쑥 먹으면서 동굴에서 20일 100일 널 기다려 볼게 그렇게 참으면서 봄은 여자가 되었다지 한번더 너를 볼수 있다면 나도 그렇게 할수 있어 종이학 천 개를 잡으면 꿈이, 꿈이 이루어진다는 신화 너를 한번더볼수 있다면 나는 수천 개, 수만 개의 종이가 적을 수 있어. So this is how the song is Korean, right? And let's see what it says. Can you even imagine what is the title? 기다리? I don't know. Let's see. The 기다림 is waiting. And I have to tell you though something. So actually, uh, when you look at the website, it was just like a waiting is just in um, English. And then someone said, you don't have a Korean. So I said, oops, I didn't have it translated. So actually I translated yesterday the poem. Waiting. When I think of you, rain comes. When I call you, you come in late. When I touch you, you disappear in rain. Bring me raw garlic and have full of bitter green warm wood. I will eat them and stay in a cave. 21 days, 100 days. That's how bear became one. I will do the same. If I can see you one last time. There is another myth. When you fold a thousand paper coin, your dream comes true. If I can see you one last time, I will fold thousands, ten thousands paper coin. Second poem called Fish Bone, Sang Chan Kashi. So we're the same thing. So open your mind and then just let it flow. Nanan Subo Shita, Shri Sanan Nawa, Shri Inan Kune, Ku Saye Kimse, Lukyo Jijianan Oda, Kuwa Gatiri Kanaika. 내 안에서 늘 출동하는 언어, 문화, 감성. 내 안에 다른 두 사람, 거울 보듯 마주보고 서로의 감정을 검열한다. 외국어로 번역된 그 감정, 모국어로 쓴내 시의 정서. 그런 것이 전혀 아니었는데요. 이해가 됩니까? 목에 생선가시 걸린 것처럼 캐캐 꽂다 내 대사를 끌고 삼켜 버리고 만다 나는 시를 쓰고 싶다 번역하지 않아도 되는 지도에 없는 언어로 지도에 없는 집에서 나 홀로 속곱놀이 하면서 가위 바위보 하면서 
흥얼거리면서 웃고 싶다. 아무 의미도 감춰지지 않은 공기 속에서 천사가 읽을 수 있기 전에 사라진다 해도 국경 넘어 경계 없는 마음의 언어로 쓰고 싶다. So this is the poem is that like I've been living in the United States for a long time and um, it is very hard like when I get the ask to like write a poem in Korea and then there's a struggle between myself that when I write in Korean I'm a different person when I write in English I'm another person even though struggling translating my own word. So sometimes I have to understand who I'm like writing. So that struggle say like, I just don't want to worry about it. I just want to write what, it, what is comes. And then if in the right, like in any space, is it possible that I don't have to translate it? So that's how this poem wrote it. And at this moment, I wanted to say hi to my son. <laughs> That's my youngest. And then I'm just so happy that he could be here with me. <laughs> Thank you, Indy. So um, this one, Fishy Bone. I want to write between me, the writer, and I, the reader. No fence between country, language, culture, border flags, and merge. Lands collide. Kinski scars. Dispora scars. Make mountains. I want to sing in common language. From the highest peak. I look at myself in the mirror. I see my soul. Do you understand this poem? Why should I emotions need to be consoled? Writing arrival, writing departure, like a fishbone cutting my throat. Cut, cut. I do not want to swallow my lines anymore. I want to write in transit while I'm in Kyomi, while I'm flaring rock, paper, scissors. When the sun shines on the well, pretty snowflakes hide in the clouds, come down, melt away, even before an angel can win. No scent without weight, like a plane. House alone. Thank you. You know, um, the beauty of, of poetry is um, is not only when you understand the when you understand the language, right? I remember very well when I uh, when I traveled to El Salvador in 2008, and I heard for the first time a Korean uh, poet. And you don't uh, maybe you don't believe me, but I cried when I heard when I listened to him because it's not only that you understand the language; it's the feeling that you can speak when you uh, when you read your poetry. And then um, I feel uh, very happy that you are here. Yes, and we have many languages uh, this uh, this festival, right? I mean, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Danja. Otro aplauso, please. Oh. Uh, but now we are staying here. We have the most pleasure to invite here Bill Wallach from the United States. Yay. And also he's a photographer. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Carlos and Carlos and Maria, for inviting me for this wonderful event for us to come together. 
Ladies and gentlemen, these are some dark days, and I'm afraid I have some dark poems for you. The first one is entitled, Song of the Inconsolable Survivor. Other lives passed through me so quickly, still jealous as recurrent nightmares. They were wearing at the bloated darkness ahead. Like a nimble moon's elastic cord of light, how briefly they illuminated my obscure scars. And their visits remind me that you do not look long into a pistol shot, that you do not wear your own blood like makeup. Face calm as a man, I move tenuously like the earth ceaselessly sifting in a cemetery. Now entire days pass even quicker than the snapping strings of a burning piano. Against all odds, I have survived even the harassments of memory. I have fertilized myself with farewells, dredging among the unremitting screams for my own voice. For me, all right is haunted. Oh. Those who were lost, song of the lost daughter, song of the lost daughter. Hair of rope dragged along the ground, I sleep in rags, huddled in a cardboard box, dreaming of shoes, candy, and clean water. My father disappeared looking for work. My mother searching for food. Now little brother brings me brackish water and I hold him like a blessing while I sleep. Too scared to search for firewood, too weak to beg for food, too tired for a lullaby. Air of rope dragged along the ground, my emaciated body too thin for an embrace. Oh. And just for fun, I'll end up with an epitaph from an imaginary cemetery, a Greek cemetery. Very brief, few words on a tombstone like this. Stranger, a river of love flowed through my heart. Now I am nothing, but because you roam here among the dead, I'll share a secret. Time tricked me too. Never again will anyone greet me eagerly like sunlight or hold me tightly like a jam drawer filled with flashing Fireflies. Thank you very much. Uh, muchas gracias, Bill. Um, y qué bueno es cuando uno uh, se reencuentra con. Okay. <laughs> qué bueno es cuando uno se reencuentra uh, uh, con una poeta que conocí en Colombia en el 2010. Eh, y darle la bienvenida. O la conocí antes, eh, sí, la conocí en, nos conocimos en, en Zamora, Michoacán, en México, en el 2008. Y qué bueno tenerla aquí nuevamente, María Clara González. Bienvenida.
good afternoon. I'm very grateful to participate in the 10th Americas Poetry Festival of New York. Thanks to Carlos Abasaco, Irene Santos, Carlos Velasquez for this invitation. Tonight, I am honored to be accompanied by the translator of my poetry, Elena Samper. Elena. I want to share with you some poems of my recent book, just published by Arte Poetica. And I'm going to read it in Spanish, and Elena will read it in English. La tierra sin hielo. Se cree que todo el hielo terrestre derretido elevaría 66 metros el nivel del mar. Eso lo leí en alguna revista y me inspiró este poema. Cabalgo en la inmensa ola de este mar en ascenso, como onda continua a contrapelo. No hay ancla que sostenga, ya no hay fondo. Los océanos borraron las playas, se esfumaron los límites, se escondieron las cumbres, ya no hay techo del mundo. No existe cobijo en el planeta Tierra, solo espuma danzante, silencio líquido del blanco al deshacerse. Anel without ice. It is believed that all the melted land ice would raise sea levels by 66 meters. I ride an immense wave of this ascending sea as a continuous swell against the wind. There is no anchor to hold. There is no longer a bottom. The oceans wipe out the beaches. Borders vanish. Peaks were hidden. There is no longer a roof of the world. There is no shelter on planet Earth, only dancing foam, liquid silence of the white as it dissolves. Ciudad Distante. Este poema tiene un epígrafe de Federico Díaz Granados que dice esta, esta calle, en esta calle estará toda la nostalgia humana. Mi ventana, espejo del tiempo detenido en el planeta, revela el desarraigo. El, de resar, el desarraigo de avenidas invadidas por palomas perezosas los escasos transeúntes con sus máscaras reflejan la íntima soledad, el miedo, la vida secuestrada. Ah, el goce de la errancia, memoria del flamenco. Rota estoy por clamores del hambre que suplica, que reclama y exige. Frente a mí, al otro lado de la calle, un anciano encerrado ofrece su derrota a la persiana. Los parques vacíos son ahora entrañas verdes de gigantes. Eastern City In the street shall be all human nostalgia. My window, mirror of time held up on the planet, reveals the rootlessness of avenues invaded by lazy pigeons. The scars passes by with their masks, reflect the intimate loneliness 
the fear, the kidnapped life, uh, the joy of wandering, memories of a flanera. Broken I am by the price of hunger that begs, that claims, and demands. In front of me, across the street, a locked-in elder offers his defeat to the blinds. The empty parts are now green and trails of time. Ya para terminar, un canto para curar el país de mis sueños, Colombia. Desde un tiempo nuevo, no quiero hablar de guerra, de pueblos devastados, de huesos insepultos, ni de orillas gladiosas. No quiero oír las botas embarradas rompiendo la noche de una casa humilde en la montaña. No quiero dolerme más por mujeres violadas. No quiero llorar otra vez por niños sin infancia y ancianos enjaulados por el virus. No quiero saber de diatribas políticas ni de árboles caídos. Hoy, hoy no quiero más sangre ni más miedo. Solo, solo anhelo atravesar la niebla, aliviar compasiva cada herida. Valiente, sostener la vara del equilibrio, danzar sobre el abismo hasta la próxima orilla de la vida. From a new time, so to proud of the land of my dreams. I do not wish to speak of war, of devastated villages, or unburied bones, nor of shores of goodbyes. I do not want to hear muddy boots breaking the night of a humble house in the mountains. I do not want to mourn anymore for great women. I do not want to shed more tears for children without childhood and old people encaged by the virus. I do not want to hear about political dietaries, not of fallen trees. Today, I want no more blood, nor any more fear. I only long to pierce through the mist, compassionately soothing every wound. Courageous to hold the rod of violence to dance over the abyss to the coming shore of life. Bravo. 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 Thank you very much. Remember, thank you, Clara. Gracias. Um, I remember when um, from Armenia um, she participated in the first or second uh, uh, festival, and now we are celebrating our 10th anniversary. It is a pleasure to call Lola Kunduyaya or Kunduya. Okay? Yeah, I always have to make this and practice this pronunciation. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> it's great to be here. I am among old and new friends. Thank you. You have to organize by height, so you don't have to do that. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to read uh, two poems in English and one bilingually with Western Armenian and English. The hairdresser in Yemen. Crossing the desert, we are driving to Salaha, hair-blessed 
to ascend. I wish for a spot stop before reaching the airport for a hair wash. Twenty minutes later, we arrive to a small building. Two steps, a curtain. I enter, frightening the woman on the other side. She apologizes, for I see like a man, an intruder with my uncovered face, my short hair, my height and pants in a women-only shop, a refuge from the heat of the street and the chaos of home. I explained my needs, just a shampoo to rid the dust off my hair, a feeling of freshness before the overnight flight to Amsterdam via Jeddah. She invited me to the basin and opened a bottle of sun silk. The perfume took me back decades to my childhood and after a two-week trip alone in the Middle East, it was like being enveloped with familiar love, a marvelous cocoon of care as she swaddled my hair with a towel. And seeing her daughter return from school, uniform and backpack, summoned her to make coffee for the auntie. As she dried my hair, I drank the sweet and pungent black brew served in a dimmy tasse while the hairdresser's life stories unfolded like the Thousand and One Nights, leaving Baghdad during the war, where she and her husband were school teachers. They came to this ancient land where they built a temporary home, hoping for visas for Sweden. And after some 20 years, I wonder where they are, where they made their new home. I grew up in Beirut, Lebanon, although Armenian is my heritage, and these are very difficult days for my people. This, uh, your last poem really touched my heart. Thank you. Sacro Speco. And the epigraph reads En vain, j'ai voulu de l'espace trouver la fin et le milieu, Charles Baudelaire. In vain, I wanted to find the end and the middle of the space. When you and I are in the ground, this will be a different world. We will be in the ultimate sacred space, not the temporary one I have today where I write, nor the one I transformed to the park to paint that great watercolor. In the sacred space, the focus is on the process or in the product. In the Sacro Speco, sit in your barren cell, germinate an idea, contemplate as Kafka did, as Saint Benedict instructed, as Rothko painted, as many envisioned. This is the second pigeon poem. I will read the Armenian first and let your imaginations go. Arab Minera. Transmenas Pohat Gretzan, Megel, Abaye Glotte, Gamats, Gamats, Abakets, Abank Nere, Meg, Artemek, Babaretzan, Dutera, Ukashwitzan, Tuna. Nima Haka Pajina, Barabe, Gamats, Gamats. My neighbors moved, one and the other slowly collected their things. One after another, the boxes were packed and the door was pulled shut. Now the apartment sits empty, and one by one, the pigeons visit the musician's apartment. In the evenings, sitting next to one another along the window sills, the pigeons seem to search for the shadows inside the apartment, just as I long to hear their melodies. 
It's great to be back. It's great to be on the CUNY campus. I'm a Hunter College graduate. I'm very proud to be a New Yorker. Thank you. Say this is a multilingual poetry festival, multilingual meaning we celebrate the rich diversity of the peoples and the cultures of the Americas. So far we have heard Spanish, Korean, Armenian, right? English, right? Broken English. Hemos estado, hemos estado escuchando en este festival de poesía multilingüe, hemos estado escuchando eh, eh, la rica diversidad de, los, de las culturas y las personas de las Américas y los pueblos de las Américas, hemos escuchado a eh, eh, Armenia. Hemos escuchado coreano, hemos escuchado español, español, hemos escuchado inglés y hemos escuchado el mal inglés de Carlos. Eh, Irene Santos. Carlos, I stayed there because I thought you were going to set the, the comments that they are doing the computer, the Facebook. Yes. That's why I stayed there. We have, we have comments from Argentina, we have comments from El Salvador, from Costa Rica, we have people in Mexico, and uh, also, actually, we have comments from 22 different countries, but that's another story, okay? That's for the online people, go ahead. <laughs> okay, um, now I'm going to call uh, someone from Ireland, Irlanda, but uh, he uh, he's our colleague, uh, our poet from CWE. Okay, welcome, Chavis, Scanlon, applausos. Chavis! Hello, I'm going to add some Irish tonight as well, so that's the first time, I think, for the festival. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, first one, I'm going to read uh, The Long White Grass, it's my big hit, my only hit. So, uh, we made it into a play and a film, and... Um, we also have about 15 different translations of it, so uh, I might be contacting you later if you want to contribute. It's 300 words, and uh, eventually I'm going to publish them all together, uh, just if you're interested, but there's no pressure. Um, okay, so. It's called uh, The Long Wet Grass in Irish. It's called unfair father flock. The resonance of tires against the wet road is a mantra strong and steady. The wipers slough rain away in slow rhythmic arcs into the surrounding blackness. The rain falls slow and steady, reminding me of Galway when I was a child, where Atlantic winds flung broken fronds of seaweed onto the prong during high tide before the dead harmony of Belfast seduce me. The wind keeps trying to tailgate us, but we keep sailing. The slick black asphalt sings on beneath us. We slow and turn onto a dirt road, the clean rhythm now broken. High beams tracing tall reeds edge against the road, moving rhythmically back and forth with the wind. No lights now from oncoming cars. We stop at a clearing, I open the door, the driver looks back at me, I step out, the rain on my face is soothing, the pungent petrol fumes comfort me, the moon lies hidden behind black heavy clouds, I unlock the trunk, you can barely stand from lying curled up for hours, after a while you can stand straight, I take the tape from your mouth, I breathe in the fresh air, I breathe in the fumes, you watch me, you don't beg, you don't cry, you are brave. I hold your arm and lead you away from the roadway into a field, away from the car, from the others. The pistol in my hand pointed at the ground. I stop, I kiss your cheek, I raise the pistol, I shoot you twice high in the temple. The coronas of light anoint you. You fall. The rain rushes to wipe the blood off. I fire shots into the air. The ejected shells skip away. 
I walk back to the car and leave you there lying in the long wet grass. So I'm going to read a short excerpt of the Irish version. So um, the thing about the Irish language is it's really well suited to sadness and sorrow and uh, everything like that. So we have a long tradition, like from the famine in the 1845 region, our area. So about a million and a half people died in Ireland because of famine, and about three million were forced into exile to America and England and Australia. So uh, the language is made for, you know, everything sad, just like me. So there you go. Uh, okay. Hogan to Hogan Fane, Teresh Tomal, Isturian to Seuss, the Clisham Impey or Bit Witch, Gotham the Love of Astrorium, who she some for her, the Sharks of Fark, Food, Tomal Ma on Gar, Ask Ryark, on Gunna Imaglach Adam, Stadam, Hogan the Rua, or the Amangana is Cotham Lack. Go upper seclor edam, coronica solish marola yen of heart, titchen to, and postage chitum the tramanish, squealum dras upper ala is just an air, the shan sligon escape all low, shulam arash the gian car of a spogum shienta sen ar father love to, for Margaret. So now for something more lighthearted. <laughs> okay, so this is called Bruce Lee Lives. So when I was a kid, I wanted to be the next Bruce Lee. I did my best, but look where I ended up. <laughs> so, anyway. Bruce Lee Lives. I'm 11. I'm in heaven. I'm standing in the heavy rain outside Galway's town hall to see Enter the Dragon. Every light, loose-limbed warrior from Bohemore cues with me. They look askance at me and shrug, I have only one eye. The other I lost to a homemade arrow I fired into the warm, cloudless, murky sky. When it reached its zenith, it turned and fell back slowly. I watched mesmerized, it punctured my eyeball. You made a right fucking hames of that, my mother says. In my head, I'm Bruce Lee. I swallow raw eggs. I punch concrete blocks to cause hairline fractures so the bone grows back stronger. In the rain barrel, I submerge in the ice cold water on winter mornings. I buy nunchucks and death stars. I go to Kung Fu lessons in St. Patrick's Hall. The teacher, Mr. Savage, his real name, <laughs> from the Canada, knocks me out. I am one committed Brucey neophyte. I practice sit-ups, push-ups, leg splits, handstands. I do the pogo until my legs ache. I do flying kicks against the dividing wall of our neighbor's house. The vibrations cause their knickknacks to move sedately across the surface of the sideboard until they fall over one by one onto the floor. They move away. I get my brother Sid to practice bowing every time we meet in the mean, narrow corridors of the house. It gets out of hand. To get a break, Sid climbs out the upstairs bedroom windows to avoid me. We bow when we are getting on the bus, or when I regain consciousness after Kung Fu practice, or when I get out of the rain barrel shaking from the cold. Now he is dead, my beautiful brother, and Bruce Lee. To live forever inside me where it comes. Thank you. Okay, well, gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Um, muy contenta. Muy contenta. ¿Cómo, cómo se sienten ustedes? Contenta. How do you feel? Contenta. ¿Cómo te sientes? Contentísimo. Contentísimo. Okay. Uh, estoy súper contenta porque porque están todos, obviamente, porque están todos ustedes aquí. But I, 
I have uh, the pleasure that I meet a, a poet from Guatemala, I think in 2019, in 2019, in Chiapas, Correcto, uh, Miguel Angel, and I'm very happy uh, to call him. From Guatemala, Miguel Angel Otslach Gomez. Bienvenido, bienvenido. Perfecto. Saludos. Salúdanos en Maya, por favor. En Maya porque I not speak English. Yo cada vez veo con ustedes y me di Miguel Ángel Ochoa Gómez y pedí la chila para Ishimuleu y Janela y Pico Truma y Coba B y Caumán. Na pei que quem vi a tita da mamã, a tita da tata, chuca, e a mamã, o marido, o chupa vir de um pei de, hula hoop, hula hoop, came, e haridi e a mamã, o ma chuca e quem vi cai Carlos, 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 e chuca e Irene, Matheus, e chuca e quem vi. Muchas gracias por la invitación. Estoy agradecido por las abuelas y abuelos. Thank you for the invitation and grateful for the grandparents, grandmothers and grandfathers. Hoy es en el calendario maya 11 11 keme es el Nahual de la muerte. Today in the in the Maya calendar is 11 keme, which is the the Nahual of death. Y estoy agradecido por por ese, esa energía por permitirme estar también aquí con ustedes. He is also grateful to that energy for allowing him to be here today with us. Gracias por venir, Miguel Ángel. Gracias. ¿Quién chuca y en la ciudad? ¿Quién tiene que caminar aquí? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es el arropal hop? Les enfants de l'Ikamik, les hâtes 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 de Dit in de is elf dat kiet zich, dit in de is elf dat kiet zich de niet kiet was raken, dit in de is elf dat kiet is er aan ik, dit in de job om aan ik, dit is er maar, dit is er om bij. In de maak als je weet, heb je niet meer leeg maar, dit in die wat is er gewoon nog heel dat toch aan, heb je niet meer chic die je na dag toch een sapperspel. Hari ini cerita kacik di ikas pang rikin di simperis rikin di cikonem ri sim betamah rusik isik ikas lem rikin dono herde sim betamah sim sikir kubat ikas lemas rikin dono herde sim mesdah rikipotem agari tokre ikas pati kush mahum biya kahanda hukam biya cuma po Yet em birikin hanila isonem niki halbacher piti niki kusak rikoh niki kusan konohel yet bishan bi chireli alma liya om chikivach chokha yeshu kemi chwech bi ahab bi mangetzef katsetom halikokam shashem bi yikase halitok shin chakulak bi kalmisarem bi kalmisarem ab Chukari achchayi, vigere shiok di wetsanez, di tamik shok nuchakinez. Bakami, humperach chireri nubilatih, katar nisikin, rejun chiptanach, nrahuk jota nuyupir hum dunak dovech, chireri kaslemar, parunik ahar, rejun lian red, ruelevar, rinestashin. Pertenezco a la generación de los muertos. Nací bajo la última tormenta de disparos. Los fusiles eran la paz. 
La guerra aplastaba nuestros anhelos, las balas cosían nuestras bocas y el silencio solo era roto por los lamentos de los desaparecidos, por sus últimas voces, sus últimas palabras, sus últimas recomendaciones, las razones de su lucha. Yo los escuchaba, eran los cuentos que me adormecían cada noche, eran los sueños que recordaba al amanecer, las pesadillas que me despertaban gritando, las historias con, con las que aprendí a leer, a interpretar la vida, a olvidarme de la alegría. Entonces, quienes se pensaban vivos guardaban silencio, desviaban la mirada, sonreían con tristeza, se disfrazaban de normales, se ponían la máscara de moda, le cantaban a la patria impuesta y le rezaban al Dios autorizado. El único plan era sobrevivir. Así me naturalizó la carnicería, jugaba las bombas y los soldados, la muerte se volvió mi principal niñera. Hoy, una parte de mí sigue gritando, la otra intenta guiñarle un ojo a la vida en esta planicia de hoy. Wow. Isa <tose> Rumari Kamik, a cierto ni zat conche pasivan, shoku kuch li inchi peris, shuke li echro no jefe pasati, choka shrezela de jefeta kachik, hok al bohok atuni ik alta ashnatkan, hanipera sete setelenta ik shevesh es, man kiselta chumilal shechakush es, oshti satirizan na pe. Mahu achkesh ti kirsta atom. Rimamai niki natahyan risakirisanem. Rimimaa shuposhan lo ap paruku ishikah. Ve kapa atkesh tahin niki nutki de kachakur. Nuno sahri chiti ich chitsumash. Ve chinu ya rumanikir chuka rukobish chirere anahokir. Rimahun esta neta, vi rachlashik vi kaslem, rimahun esta neta, chuchobik vi laipes, rimahun es, stuskopirta, riporoyerta y es kush, chiri, stisapir sana pe, ruma mahun achketa, stitikir stetatom. Hakarihun nin rafan a a, mantikirelta, nukel perihim kum, ir vi koolta rafen, stisapir sana pe, Amanecerá a las abuelas y abuelos, porque sus generaciones muertas en Chivalvá han preñado de nuevo a Ishtik y pronto reverdecerá. Amanecerá. La noche se dejó caer como el fruto ajeñado, como el ciervo derribado, como el árbol en el precipicio. Nos cubrió con su manto de terror, se tragó nuestra luz y convirtió nuestros sueños en brutales pesadillas. Veinticinco gatunes han pasado, centenares de lunas opacadas, millares de estrellas disipadas, pero amanecerá, es inevitable. Ya los gallos anuncian la alborada, el horizonte comienza a derramar sus pigmentos dorados y nuestros huesos se comienzan a juntar y nuestro cuerpo vuelve a cubrirse de carne para darle forma y soporte a esa mente que nunca dejó de calcular la vida, que nunca dejó de trazar sus sueños, que nunca soltó la esperanza de que amanecerá porque nadie lo puede detener. Y una noche tan larga no puede traer consigo un día de menores proporciones. Amanecerá. 
que es inevitable. Claro, el año, Adriel Mancho ha sido una fuente que yo puedo decir, pero en un momento, el año es inglés. Y si alguien de ustedes quiere aprender inglés, puede comprar su antología, que son mis dos libros. Si alguien quiere leer su poesía en inglés, puede comprar antología, son solamente 20 dólares. Y de mi tiempo, así que no quiero decir, pero si alguien quiere aprender inglés, puede comprar antología, son solamente 20 dólares. In the meantime, as Kirna gets ready, let me tell you the story, Miguel Angel, is we're really proud to have him here. He had a situation in Guatemala, there, was a, there were some, some protests in Guatemala, okay, and he actually uh, had to ride a bicycle, okay, for a full day to get to the airport. He saw that there were protests in Guatemala, Miguel Angel took it, and he took it, and he took it, and and five miles, five miles from the airport, as he took it, he had to get a flat tire. Oh, oh. So he had to carry, he had to carry his own, his own bag for it. He had to put it. He pinched one of the plants, he pinched one of the plants, five kubillas to the end. So he had to carry the bicycle. And then, okay, he boarded the plane eventually and he arrived at 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay? Oh. And he came at 3 in the morning. So, eh, Nina, eh, por favor, es un poema de Miguel Ángel. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias por estar acá. Eso. We're really, really, really proud to have a real Maya, a Chiquet poet in New York. Thank you. Okay. A kernel of corn. A kernel of corn. I had not understood why the grandmothers, why the grandfathers, hated to see even a single kernel of corn wasted. Even if they were hunchbacked, they bent low to pick it up, cleaning it, kissing it, and placing it in their bag. We've suffered hunger, they explained. But one day, I saw a moth emerge from a kernel, and that is when I realized that freedom lives in sacred corn. Oh. You know, I have to say something now. When I when I heard Carlos calling Mirna to read the poem in English, I I miss my daughter <laughs> because she used to do this. Uh, uh, during the eight years, the, the first eight years, but she moved to uh, LA uh, one year ago. Um, and then, uh, thank you, Mirna, thank you, Mirna. Um, okay, now I want to call, um, yeah, uh, when I when I came here this afternoon, and I said, hey, Paula, Carmen! And she said, oh, oh, and she was like this, huh? She said, like, oh, who is this person, and then I said, oh, it's because I recognize your face uh, in the anthology and the website, and uh, welcome Carmen from Romania, Carmen Bulsa. Hola, buenas tardes. En primer lugar, quiero Agradecerle a Carlos Aguasaco. Te vas a usar el técnico de Rima. También a Carlos Velázquez Torres para la invitación en este festival. Eso se dice en español, por favor. Carmen Bolsán de Rumania es profesor Carmen Bolsán y es un traductor entre el español y el rumano. Porque es comunicando conmigo en español. Está hablando en español. Aunque Roma. Estoy aquí no solo como poeta, sino también como traductora. Y sí, no lo es poeta, pero uso otros libros. De español al rumano y al revés. Y eh, aquí tengo una antología transatlántica de poesía iberoamericana que apareció en Rumanía el año pasado. Esta es la antología de transatlántica poesía que she published in, in Romania last year. Con eh, 20 poetas. Carlos, uh, Car Carlos Aguasaco y Carlos Velázquez. With 19 poets and Carlos Aguasaco. 
Y Carlos Velázquez Flores. Cada uno con 10 poemas en una edición bilingüe hermano de español. So I need an edition with 10 poems by each writer. Okay. Uh, okay. Estado metafísico. Estar presente por la ausencia, falta visible y notable, el ser del no ser. Sentir que estás al lado donde quiera el ser del otro estaría, el ser del sentimiento reflexivo. Anhelar concepciones de alegría, de belleza para el bien de dentro del ser. Alimentar el ser con sueños, fantasías, ideales, para que pudiera soñar su vida. Este es el adjuntamente de vida del ser a su propia existencia, el estado metafísico. En rumano, en rumano, en rumano, en rumano. En rumano, se ti present prin absenza, Lipsa visibilă, simțibilă, ființa neființei. Să simți că ești alături oricum de ființa celui celuilalt s-ar afla, ființa sentimentului gândit. Să năzuiești la zămislir de purie, de frumusețe, într-o bună ființare. Să nutrești ființa cu vise, fantezii, idealuri, ca să-și poată visa viața lor. Acesta e atașamentul pe viață al ființei la propria ființare, starea metafizică. Un casi sonet las cartas de antaño. Donde están las cartas de antaño y la mano del pensamiento que escribía con la pluma empapado en el fuego que ardía la lejanía, mensaje de alma sin tamaño. El destinatario, ella, él, un remitente, dos corazones y un jardín en flor, los pétalos, palabras de la carta de amor, acariciaban el corazón y calmaban la mente. La carta de amor, codificada a Maturo, recuerdos, anhelos de ambos esperados, más allá de las palabras, sueño puro. Solo ellos volaban por cielos estrellados, buscando entre guineas el amor claro oscuro. La carta desentrañaba misterios encerrados. <tose> Quiero algo más. En un mundo tocado por la anomía de lo físico y de economía, en este mundo en detención, quiero algo más, cultura y atención. En un mundo donde la vida es fuego, en frágil equilibrio, frío, fuego, en este mundo sin imaginación, quiero algo más, arte e inspiración. En un mundo donde la comida importa y casi todo se vende y exporta, en esta realidad no virtual, quiero algo más, sustento espiritual. En un mundo de enfermos y médicos famosos, de curaderos y terapeutas peligrosos, en este mundo en conmoción, quiero algo más, autosalvación. En un mundo de máscara manchada, solo para el cuerpo, la piel, la fachada, en este mundo, para más allá de la piel, quiero algo más, un mundo fiel. En un mundo donde la torre de Babel es foro, donde todos hablan sin escuchar al otro, en este mundo donde nada es esencial, quiero algo más, la paz celestial. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. There was a Mirna Puente one more time reading a poem by Carmen Bolsani in English. Vamos a tener a Mirna Puente leyendo un poema de Carmen Bolsani en inglés. So you get a taste of her work in English. Vamos a pedirle a otra vez a Mirna Puente si le han puesto más bien en inglés para que la gente sepa. Vamos a ver. Sí, 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 sí,
Okay. When? When will you understand that my flood of joy hides a sea of sadness? That my need for connection is vital? That only the sun of your eyes upon me warm up my soul? That my inner sight is the dialogue with God? When will, when will, I apologize. When you will search for me, not only in the dream without a shadow, when you will talk to me, not only with your eyes, when you will touch me, not only with the nightly thought, when you will give me, not only the earned gift, but the one so longed for, only then you will have known me. Oh, okay. I mean, I never follow the list of the, uh, here because I change everything. Okay. Um, I want to call right now from Colombia, Asaúl Gómez Mantilla. Okay, Saúl, bienvenido. Well, Saul, uh, the microphone. Well, well, Saul gets ready. Let me tell you that he won a national award to come here. Se ganó un premio nacional para venir acá. Saul Gómez Mantilla, el apoyo del Ministerio de la Cultura. So we're really, we're really happy for Saul to be here. He, he, is, uh, he attended the National University of Colombia, my alma mater, our alma mater, and he, he received a national award by, uh, by the Ministry of Culture to come to this festival. So we're really happy for, for him to be here. Saul, please, this is acá. Eh, un placer estar acá, una gran alegría. Eh, como decía Carlos, eh, estoy acá porque el Ministerio de Cultura de Colombia sacó una beca de circulación internacional y tuve la fortuna de, de ganarla. Voy a leer tres poemas míos en español y mi hija Rafaela Gómez pues, va a leer en inglés. Días de mayo, a Ana Rosetti. Yo también te creí muerto, corazón mío, te creí olvidado, extinto, no te esperaba tan cerca, que llegaras en un rostro que lea atentamente la programación de un concierto, te esperaba entre maderos bañado de rocas y no frágil, cambiando de color al paso de las horas. Te imaginaba colgado entre nubes, mirando ciudades sin ingresar en ellas, no como canto que despierta, como recuerdo que llega para robarse la alegría. Days of May to Ana Rossetti. I believe you were dead too, my heart. I believe you have been forgotten, extinct. I was not expecting you to so close that you will arrive in a face that reads authenticity. Uh, the, the programming of a concert. I was waiting for you among the woods, bathing in rocks, and not fragile, changing color over the heart over the hours. I imagine you hanging, hanging between clouds, looking at cities without entering them, not as a song that awakens, as a memory that arrives to still be joy. Yo quiero agradecerle a Carlos, a Irene y a Carlos por la, por la invitación. Rostro que no se encuentra a Alejandra Pizarro. Alejandra camina por la ciudad, agujereado su cuerpo, roto de mentiras. Alejandra entre ceniza, sus ojos se coagulan en la banca de un parque. Alejada de todo, recuerda el tranvía donde su infancia quedó suspendida. Alejandra, muerta para sí misma, sonríe ante el asilo, como un dolor nuevo escupe su abandono, benéfico para nadie. A to Alejandra Pizarni. Alejandra walks through the sea, piercing her, her body, broken with lies. Alejandra in the ashes, 
her eyes clubbed on the bench of a park. Far from everything, she remembers the tram where her childhood got suspended. Alejandra, dead to herself, smiles at the feeling like a new pain. It's all her abandonment, begging to no one. Bueno, y para terminar, eh, poema breve que se titula El oportuno lector. El libro se abre como un salvavidas, pequeño paracaídas para las tardes de oficina y recorridos de autobús, un escape al ruido y la prisa, una puerta para tenerlo todo, palabras que sean un ansiado amanecer. From the time of the reader, the book opens like a lifesaver, a small parachute for office afternoons, and bus rides, an escape from the noise and the rush, a door to have it all, words that are mm, alone for them. Muchas gracias. Gracias, Saúl. Um, ahora a escuchar en otra lengua. Qué maravilloso. Uh, quiero llamar a, a Q. Rich Howe from Vietnam. Oh, wow. oh. Bienvenida. Today, I'm really uh, very, very happy to be here in New York. It is uh, my great dream to come to visit New York, and I don't think that <laughs> it can be uh, the, the real uh, today. Um, for a long time, I usually dreamed to be only one day in New York, but uh, Things passing and time passed by, and I couldn't uh, make it uh, real. And uh, today I would uh, like to uh, express my sincere thank to uh, Carlos uh, uh, Torres. Uh, he uh, he made my my dream come true. Uh, I met him in uh, Como, Italy, uh, in a, uh, a poetry festival. And uh, from that time, uh, we became friends. Uh, in, uh, I, and I think uh, uh, poetry is really uh, a miracle of life when we make a connection uh, with the beautiful meaning and uh, beautiful emotion. Uh, so, and uh, today, uh, I would like to read for you uh, two poems. Uh, at first, I will read uh, in uh, Vietnamese. And uh, I think that um, maybe you have never uh, listened um, a poem in Vietnamese. <coughs> and it is a bit uh, difficult to spell in Vietnamese. Cơm dạ. Được rồi. Buông đi anh. Hét vào mặt em cũng được. Cơm thịnh độ mù quán. Né nhìn bao lâu rồi. Trong tim, trong ốc, trong mọi tế bào của anh Hãy hét vào mặt em Nhìn em bằng đôi mắt này lửa ấy Thiêu cháy em, ánh sáng ngọn lửa ấy Thiêu đốt làn da, tái tóc, tâm hồn em Cơn giận của trái đất này Cơn giận trong nỗi đau và tuyệt vọng từ cảm xúc nén chặt Từ đa mang tội lỗi loài người Và anh được tự do Và em sẽ ôm anh trong vòng tay xuân dần Và tất cả nước mắt thế gian tuôn chảy Vào dòng đa nước xanh Vào dòng sông hồng đỏ Và tất cả dẫu là và trong dòng sông đó ta tan chảy mãi mãi 
chảy vào vũ trụ chúng ta chỉ còn là giọt nước mắt khổng lồ dưới chân vũ trụ bao la The anger is all right. Just let it out. Shout at me. Release the bright bridge that has long built up in your heart, your mind, your every cell. Just shout at me. Use your angry eyes. Use the fire. With the light that burns my skin, my hair, my soul. The anger of this earth. The anger from pain and despair. From the repressed feelings. From bearing the sins of being human. And you are free, and I will help you in my traveling arms, and all tears will flow in a current into the blue depth, into the red river, into all, and we went into that river, remaining forever, flowing into the universe. We are a giant tear scattered in the universe. Wow. Oh. And the second in a poem, I will read it in the Vietnamese first. Làm sao ôm nổi khát khao này? Em muốn giấu tất cả những ký ức dày vò này trong một chiếc hộp bí mật giấu nó trong em để mong có thể sống bình thường nhưng mỗi đêm em bị đánh thức trong một khao khát ngọt ngào đau đớn hướng về anh tại sao chúng ta bên nhau đồng thời xa đến thế em du lòng mình mỗi đêm Giả vờ chạm sự ngọt ngào gần gũi đã mất Trong những nụ hôn đã mất Những vốt ve đã mất Nỗi tiếc nuối tất cả mất mát đó Sẽ nhấn chìm em trong một đại dương khổ đau Vẻ đẹp của tình yêu Liệu sẽ đốt cháy trái tim này How to hold this longing? I wish to store all these tormented memories in a secret box. Hide it inside me so I can live normally. But every night it wakes me up in a sweet, painful longing for you. Why we are together, at the same time, very far away. I lose my heart every night, pretend to see the sweetness in the lost proximity, in the lost kisses, the lost touches, the regret of all those losses. Will it draw me? in an ocean of misery. The beauty of love will it burn away this heart. Thank you. I I work from here because I want the job like Phil Wallach. (laughs) Huh? Uh, Okay, but I'm scared. Hey, okay. <laughs> it's not beautiful to listen poetry in another languages. Okay. I feel terrific. Yes. Okay. Um, now, 
uh, my pleasure to call here a poet from India, Shiva Prakash. Welcome. <laughs> So let me first recite the language that we understand. Kalugar, kige, garu saada kige garu, ye kina mere, ye kina mere, ye kina mere. ಉಪಚಿಕೊಳ್ಳುವುದು ಬಿದ್ದರೆ ತಾನೇ ಕಲ್ಲು ಮಿದುವಾಗುವುದು ಹೃದಯದ ಮಿತ್ರೆ ಹೃದಯ ಗರುಸಾಗುವುದು ಕಲ್ಲು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಟು ಬ್ರೋಕನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ಸ್ ಟಫ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರೈ ಡೌನ್ ಬ್ಲೋ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬ್ಲೋ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬ್ಲೋ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಸಿವ್ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ಸ್ ದಸ್ ವೈ the high importance in the womb of the earth on hills and mountains the bottom of the sea in the silence of the earth but unless blow of the blow of the blow of the blow rain down how can stone turn soft like our hearts and our hearts hard like stones now another poem my only poem on new york written 23 years ago when i first came here it's a tribute to my dear departed friend joe who was a retired uh, postmaster and he hosted me in the Harlem for a week and it's a tribute Dear friend Joe is collapse the colors of building your black finger pointed to on that New York morning shining white the symbol of the victory of the white capitalists built on the remnants of our ancestral land with the broken limbs of our gods and goddesses. How can our innocent gods and goddesses outsmart the craft and cunning of businessmen? But, dear friend Joe, what put it down was not the world of revolution we were dreaming of. Even after the fall, our gods and goddesses did not return to the temple, neither did our children return home. Look, with monstrous sand dunes of final darkness covering the face of the setting sun behind the ruins of that building. Scream once again. Mutilated corpses once again. Tell me, dear friend Joe, why is only sin the solution for sins of our world? Why is goodness like you climbing up and down the staircase of the dirt-filled apartment of your hallowed home, beaten and lame by the bastards of civilization. Meanwhile, skewed beings born of fear, their hands and legs in different directions, their eyes and noses in different directions, drunken, steal and kill each other, while a blind knife or pistol lurks for them in the gloom. Dear friend Joe, has your rickety house survived with its memories of broken marriages? Has the fear of sudden attacks 
banknote had still survived. Such things survive, I know, where the empires rise or fall, the huts of the poor will survive forever. Though your Gandhi and my Luther are both dead, when gods and goddesses vanish, the earth needs at least some insist to go on. A short song. Uh, this is why I'm not reading the original. It's too long, so a very short song. I write a lot of plays. This is a song from one of the plays. It's a song of uh, benediction. Uh, I first uh, try to sing it. Nina Baya Gaya Kai Kaina Gari Nina Baya Gaya Anjikaya Nadi Nali Ravi Budari Manjina Kadi Vegadu Tiri Agari Vidhyam Bakuru Dige Kanmudari Avada Kandali Karude Horaham Rough translation to Prof. English. Let the berry of your desires ripen into a fruit. Let the dust on your way, turn good. Let the sun dawn on the valleys of fear. Let all mists be cleared away. Let this woman, blind woman, fade, get her eyes back, and let compassion ooze out of her eyes. Thank you. Oh. One of the most well known poets in India, a famous playwright and a dear brother. Thank you for being here finally. Finally, Shiva Prakash. Okay, uh, before uh, Irene calls uh, the, the next poet, let me tell you that uh, I'm not sure how we, the answer that I'm going to say is that poet and the children are here, but just to say, say, and the exiles, and the exiles. We have some finger food. We have some food that we have to eat when we 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 eat. Okay, so across the hall, across the hall we have some finger food, okay? It's something minor, it's algo pequeño, pero it's important. It's, 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 it's with all our love, okay? So as soon as the, as the baby is old, you can cross the hall and we have some finger food for you guys. Cuando se acabe la lectura pueden pasar al Bakuti Lounge, que ahí tenemos algo de comida para que algunos pasabocas para que compartan. Guillermo Santos. We almost done for tonight, but hey, Colombia, Colombia is present today. Yeah, right. How many quotes from Colombia we have in our 10th anniversary? Uh, but the last one for tonight is uh, the last one from Colombia. Okay, <laughs> after her, there is another point. See, uh, Catalina Villegas, Vamos. bienvenida. Oh, Catalina. Hello. Okay, this is fine. Um, it's such a blessing to be here. It's like a dream and like a miracle as well. Um, I'm still shaking because I had like a mild accident last night, but I have like those dreadful flashbacks because I just 
fell off um, a second story staircase at my friend's house and nothing happened and uh, nothing broke but um, later tonight we shake hands my hand will be a little bit uh, floppy or maybe I could shake my left hand but thank God I'm here and I'm so delighted to um, listen to your poems in different languages even if I don't understand them um, yeah, so I live in Montreal on the French side in Montreal. Um, so my second language is not English. So I invite you to follow my reading on the book if you want, uh, from page 70 to I don't know which one, but I will read the English version of my poems. And so that will be easier because I, I still have an accent. <laughs> so my first poem, and, and I also want to thank um, Okay, Miguel Angel is no longer there, but I wanted to say that it's very auspicious to feel the blessing of the uh, Nawal uh, on this October 11th, and the blessing from Shiva, and the blessing from uh, you all. Okay, so the first poem is on page 70, and it's called The Hedgehog's Defense, and it starts with a verse by Ocean Wong, he's from Vietnam, uh, his origin is Vietnam. Tenderness depends on how little the world touches you. To be tender, the weight of your life cannot rest on your bones. And the poem says, I can't give myself a hug any more than I can be aware of the pain of my own quills. One afternoon, I took promises into the abyss. I curled up into a bowl burying my face in my inherent softness, hoping to create the safety of the inside in between extinguished lights. Your best defense is to turn into an animal. The animal's one is to turn into a plant. I turn into a hedgehog, and the hedgehog into a sad or deformed rose. Lonely hedgehogs can be reached by the warmth that melts the blues or lingers under shared blankets. Nor do they know of the pangs that remind us how life throbs. Do they know that pain means bringing your heart closer to those who turn their back on you? And then I will read on page 74, Blue Palm. First, Homer never speaks of blue. It is not mentioned in the ancient Vedic poems, nor the Viking sagas. Why was the sea? A salty and frothy grace line, and the daytime sky as yet undiscovered, and non object opening towards no one, non existent on a flat earth. I try not to see the blue, to see Homer's sky, and not that of Ovid's who sang the tragedy of Cyan and her blue tears. I contemplate the postcard of a Tuscan beach. There I am 3,000 years ago, surrounded by a non-blue. Will I have an adjective to name that vastness? The sky is blue because it is empty of color. Two. Six men go out in search of the biblical peculiar blue. A rabbi, two chemists, a diver, a doctor of physics, and an occupational therapist. They know that 12,000 snails, murex trunculus, must be milked in order to dye the edge of a garment with the herbivore of pigment described as the color of a clear sky at noon. It is necessary to put the fabric in the sun so that the purple and putrid dye becomes blue instead of yellow. A strong dye in tekele must pass through the fabric of the tali, prayer garment of the Jews. The hands of the shawl carry a thread of snail's blood. Its cerulean ink there is the memory of God's commandments. In nature, 
Nothing is celestial without sacrifice. 3. From the Jewish soul and its tribes comes the flag of Israel, created when the first synthetic bloom had been an ordinary pavement, the same Persian bloom of the great wave of Kanagawa and of the stains that, that spread through the gas chambers. 4. In the Last Supper, Da Vinci dressed Jesus in ultramarine, a color obtained from lapis lazuli. Its price surpassed that of gold. For Judas, he used as read the coarsest of blues. For this poem, I used the blue of a stolen pen. <laughs> I read a last one in English, and then I would I'd like to read uh, one of those in Spanish, if I can. Okay. Everything tastes like chicken, page 79. Someone at this hour takes the chubby food of a newborn baby, sticks his nose in it, and then his teeth until the child's laughter bursts out, marking the limit. Someone at this hour sits at the table and shows chicken gum, his molars grind on the insipid texture of a latex dress. Who feels bothered with bringing birth to the table? The bird was in its cradle, made of polystyrene and plastic rock. It wasn't me who plucked its feathers, entrails, legs, beak, eyes, siblings. Someone at this hour sits at the table and stretches his hand toward the salt shaker. His plate is wide, but not wide enough. The bird was not bleeding, nor singing, nor flying. Someone at this hour flosses their teeth, trying to remove the harmless memory of the taste of chicken. Thank you. So I, I will read Poema Azul in Español, Página 71, and I want everyone to uh, to be like thankful of writing poetry because poetry is like um, a tiny light shining in during those times of darkness. So I think we can all bring peace to the world by um, being sensitive and by writing poetry. Poema Azul, primero. No habla nunca Homero del Azul. No lo mencionan los antiguos poemas bélicos ni las sagas vikingas. ¿Qué era el mar? Una baba gris, salada y espumosa. Y el cielo diurno, aún no descubierto. Un no objeto, abriéndose hacia nadie. Inexistente sobre una tierra plana. Intento no ver el azul. Ver el cielo de Homero y no el de Ovidio que cantó la tragedia de Siane y sus lágrimas azules. Contemplo la postal de una playa toscana. Estoy ahí hace tres mil años, rodeada de un no azul. ¿Tendré un adjetivo para nombrar esa vastedad? El cielo es azul porque está vacío de color. 2. Seis hombres salen en busca del azul bíblico de Quebec. Un rabino, dos químicos, un buceador, un doctor en física y un terapeuta ocupacional. Saben que se han de ordeñar 12.000 caracoles murex trunculus para teñir el borde de una prenda con aquel pigmento hebreo descrito como el color del cielo despejado del mediodía. Es preciso poner la tela al sol para que la tinta purpúrea y pútrida se transforme en azul y no en amarillo. Una hebra tenida en tejeder debe atravesar el tejido del talit, prenda de oración de los judíos. Los flecos del chal llevan un hilo de sangre de caracol. En su tinta cerúlea está el recuerdo de los mandamientos de Dios. En la naturaleza, nada es celeste sin sacrificio. 3. Del chal judío y sus franjas viene la bandera de Israel. Creada cuando el primer azul sintético llevaba 300 años siendo un pigmento ordinario. El mismo azul de Prusia, de la gran ola de Kanagawa y de las manchas que se extienden por las cámaras de gas. 
cuarto. En la última cena, Da Vinci vistió de ultramar a Jesús, un color que se obtiene del lápiz azul. Su precio superaba al del oro. Para Judas usó azulita, el más burdo de los azules. Para este poema uso el azul de un bolígrafo robado. Gracias. Uh, at the beginning today, uh, Laura and I we were talking about that uh, we, are, we were remembering uh, when we started in 2014, right, uh, uh, Carlos? Because the other day I said that we started in 2004. I said, oh my God, I mean, we have 20, 20 years or more. <laughs> okay. We haven't turned off. Oh, yes, okay. But um, at that time we had 64, I think. And, uh, and I remember very well uh, at school here, and uh, I was there. Oh, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> I, was, I, I was there, and then and I said, uh, we, when we said, uh, you have only seven minutes, see? And then when I, I, I said, okay, my God, but this word is uh, taking two more minutes, see? And then I stand here, see, in order to... Uh, I hope that the poet here look at me and then, okay, this is my time to finish. <laughs> and, um, and I remember because we have a lot of poet, and then we finished, like we said in the schedule, we said uh, eight, uh, six to eight. But at 10 o'clock, <laughs> uh, at 10 o'clock, we are still here. Yes, and I, I think Lola, Lola uh, uh, said to me, oh, and I have my, my friend, right, Lola? That, oh, when you are going to read? When you are going to read? Because many odds, see? But today, we are, I think, on time. They said 8 to 6 to 8, but it's uh, 8.15, I think, yes? Or 8.20, that means uh, good, right? That means uh, everybody is relaxed. You feel relaxed, chicos? Relajados? Relajados? See? See? Okay, okay. Um, and maybe you you will say that I'm did on purpose because I changed the names here, the order, but I'm from Dominican Republic, see? Yo soy de la República Dominicana, and I had um, a poet here, we have a poet here, uh, he came from Washington, D.C., right? Yes, see? And always it's a pleasure uh, to have Rey de Roa, El Vasalla. Lovely little El Vasalla. Welcome, and then, and then we are going to finish tonight with him. Um, and we are going to continue tomorrow here. Two to three, we have a, a round table. Uh, the name is a Poetry and Artificial Intelligence. And after that, we have another uh, poetry reading. Uh, but and at night we have uh, we are going to move to uh, Consulado de Argentina. And but now, Rey de Roma. Vamos. La, la ventaja de ser el último es que yo tengo ahora el control del de, de, de micrófono eh, y voy a aprovechar esta oportunidad para hacer algo. Eh, yo soy un viejo, puedo darme el placer de hacer estas cosas. Eh, hemos comenzado, we began to organize, we began to organize a couple of years ago a poetry festival. Um, and two friends called me uh, last year, February 14, 2022, and they said, this year is going to be the 35th anniversary of the poetry festival that I organized here in Santiago, in the Dominican Republic. And we want to do something big. And I said, and why are you calling me? So because I want you to be involved. And I said, oh yeah, I will give you a hand. I count on me to help. And he said, no, no, no. We, what we want is you to organize. 
And I said, well, I cannot. I, I am. I have. I have. This, I am on sabbatical from the university, and when the university invites gives you a sabbatical, you are supposed to do research. Uh, and so they insisted, and they said, no. Then if you are not doing it, we will not do anything. So obviously, they twist my arm, and we decided to do it. And the idea was that the 21st of March was World Poetry Day. And they wanted to see if I could do something really big to celebrate their 35th year. And I said, you know what? This year is also the 30th year of the poetry festival that I organized in here in Washington. Then we will put together the two festivals, and we will have a big celebration. But if 21st of March is World Poetry Day, we will spend the whole day reading poetry from midnight to midnight. And they said, how are you planning to do that? <laughs> and I said, I don't know, but we will do it. <laughs> and we did it. And the result and the result of that is the first anthology of that poetry festival that we had on March 21st 2022. It's a wonderful um, anthology of 170 voices from the 400 voices that we put together that day. This year, we did it again. Only that this time we have 434 poets reading more than 1,000 poems from midnight to midnight. I brought this copy of the festival to, to make a donation to the library of Cuny, but also I want to donate, besides this book, I I also want to donate this um, two volumes of studies on Dominican literature that I don't know if the library has it here, but I think this would be a good addition to the, to the library. Obviously, obviously, the book that has just been published in June in uh, Bolivia which is Son Palomas Pensajeras, one of the poems that I'm going to read now uh, belongs to this book. And, uh, and I have copies of this book uh, for anyone who is interested. And, and uh, many of you know Maria Angeles Perez Lopez. is a friend of mine, a Colleague, uh, uh, I mean, sister, and we work together trying to study the connection between motherhood and poetics. Uh, something that was not frequent, uh, there was very little research done on that. And after eight years of uh, research, we put together this collection of essays. Uh, as you can see, it has the plastic on it still, so that, to make sure that it didn't get wet. Um, and this is another addition to the library. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I also from my level. <laughs> <laughs> can you see the title, the name of this? Please, Cara. Poema. Poema. I want, this is the, I don't know if Irene remembers, Carlos, that this is the Cava that we serve in my house the day after the poetry marathon that I organize every year. I want to give the three of you this. To celebrate, this is a gift of a poem 
in a liquid form. <laughs> Le he acabado de explicar en español que eh, esto es para Carlos. Es, es para los dos Carlos e Irene. Pero al mismo tiempo, el vino para. Siempre hay que acompañarlo con algo. Así que he traído otro poema. Otro poema para alegrar el paladar. Y este es para acompañar el, el otro poema. En español, ¿eh? este es para los hijos de Carlos. ¿Eh? Bueno, como, como he usado parte del tiempo para hacer este ejercicio celebratorio, eh, voy a leer, voy a leer um, dos poemas breves. I'm going to read two brief poems and then another one. Not so brief. Short, but not really that short. Es mejor, aunque todos los poemas están publicados, es mejor traerlos así porque resulta más fácil. Y además es importante también para que los jóvenes vean que incluso después de haber pasado eh, esta antología, ah, no, no, no la traje, eh, hay una antología ahí, ah, ahí detrás, detrás de, de mi asiento, eh, que reúne mi poesía desde 1974 hasta el 2014, que fue una antología que publicó el Ministerio de Cultura de la República Dominicana. Eh, y para hacerles ver a ustedes que incluso después de haber pasado 50 años leyendo poemas en el escenario, eh, eh, de vez en cuando el... A pesar de que uno quiere dar esa imagen de tranquilidad, etc., eh, el cuerpo, la, la persona es la misma, pero el cuerpo es otro. Voy a leer el poema primero en español y después en inglés. Deber es del presente. Si ya no eres o nunca fuiste esclavo, tu primer deber es asegurarte de que todo el que sueña con ser libre, sea pez o pájaro o jaguar, sea hombre o mujer, indígena con flauta o negro con saxo o con trompeta, llegue algún día a ser libre con la ayuda de tu voz o tu palabra. Duties of the present. The translation here, uh, it's correct. En, en español es deber, es del presente. Pero claro, hay aquí el juego de eh, que hacerlo también plural. En inglés eso no se puede hacer. Entonces, claro, tuve que elegir entre una cosa u otra. Y la traducción es duties of the present. If you are no longer or you were never a slave, your first duty is to make sure that everyone who dreams of being free, whether fish or bird or jaguar, Man or woman, natives with their flute or negroes with your sax or trumpet, held by your voice or your writing, one day become free. Mm -hmm. Ahora voy a hacer al revés. Voy a leer el poema en inglés. Y después lo voy a hacer en español, siguiendo el rastro que nos plantó a uh, Tati. 
All poems of love are poems of struggle. <laughs> All poems of struggle are poems of love. In both of them, willing or not, we bet our lives. Todo poema de lucha es un poema de amor. Todo poema de amor es un poema de lucha en los dos gramos o no nos jugamos la vida. Do you know what it's like? So let's see this. No se siento. No se siento. Sabes quién eres? Do you know what it's like? Sabes quién eres? Sabes quién eres? Do you know myself? No se siento. No se siento. El juicio de Sócrates pasado por la tele. Hacía mucho tiempo que llevábamos a incrustar sus preguntas entre las costillas. Medio muerto traíamos el sueño de justicia cuando en mitad de la pantalla apareció el viejo Sócrates ya sicutado su silencio y su verdad a solas, después de declarar en silogismos convincentes que jamás había pronunciado los juicios del joven Aristóteles, cabezotas o oh, Platón eran sus motes, había escrito en la guía de la tele que todos miraban y leían en una gran pantalla tipo plasma esta menadora de Atenas por los que odiaban la mayéutica. Fue así como llegamos a saber, sin casi darnos cuenta, que el loco a quien todos envidiábamos, pues podía, pues podía decir lo que quisiera sin haber jamás escrito nada y no tener por tanto nadie pruebas contundentes que pudieran llevarlo al tribunal. Tenía leales seguidores en todas las escuelas del Estado menos en su casa, donde Antipa lo había puesto más de una vez en su lugar, pues se negaba a higienizarles los fundillos a sus hijos sin antes preguntarles si era posible conocer la virtud sin practicarla. Cuentan que también ella testificó contra el marido porque éste ya no le servía para nada. I already asked the question. Socrates' trial as seen on TV. <laughs> For many years, we have been carrying his questions embedded between our ribs. How dared we drag our dream for justice when right there in the middle of the screen old Socrates appeared with his lonely truth and silence, poisoned with hemlock, after explaining with convincing syllogisms that he had never ever pronounced the judgments young Aristocles, 
big hair, or Plato, where his nicknames, wrote in his memoirs, published day after day on many pages of the TV guide that everyone read and watched on a great plasma TV placed in Athens Agora by those who would revile his majesty. That's how we came to realize, without even knowing it, that the crazy man each one of us envied because he could say what he wanted without ever having written a word, which meant no one had the kind of solid proof to bring him to trial. This same man had lawyer followers in all the state schools except in his own house, where Shantik had put him in his place more than once for refusing to wipe his children's buttons unless he asked them first if it was possible to know virtue without practicing it. They say she also brought charges against him because he wasn't worth anything for her any longer. should end with this note. The world is burning all over with hatred. We need to think and act about peace. Creo que debemos acabar esta lectura con la memoria de la paz. La memoria y la acción de la paz. Tres variaciones sobre el tema de la paz y la paloma. Uno. Es tanta la paz de una paloma que dicen los expertos en la paz que solo bastaría una paloma para traer sobre la tierra toda la paz que buscan los humanos sin saberlo. Dos. Son tantas las palomas de la paz que dicen los expertos en palomas que solo una paz sería necesaria para atraer a todas las palomas que buscan al humano sin remedio. Tres. Si la paz se vistiera de paloma, dicen los expertos en humanos, con una sola paz nos bastaría para darle sus alas a la tierra, haciendo del humano una paloma. No es mucho pedirle a la paz o a la paloma. Es bueno aplaudir porque así el que presenta se siente bien y si no lo ha hecho bien, se aplaude para que lo haga mejor. <laughs> Three variations on the theme of peace and the dog. One. So great is the peace of one dog that the experts on peace say one dog alone would be enough to spread over the earth all the peace that humans search for without knowing. Two, so many are the dogs of peace that the experts on dogs say one peace alone would be needed to attract all the dogs that search hopelessly for the human. Three, if peace clothed itself as a dove, say the experts and humans, one peace alone would be sufficient to give its wings to the earth, making the human a dove. It's not much to ask of peace or the love.
Con eso terminamos con el gran rey de Robert, ¿no? Porque el rey de Roa, ¡pum! By the way, por mi informe, si está un profesor de Jerry. Ah. Si me está en el cielo, yo estoy en la universidad, pues yo voy a ser el cielo, profesor de Nam, y esa profesor de México. O sea, ahora, tomorrow, primero, tomorrow, tomorrow, ya siempre hay que tener, pues sí. Tomorrow, artificial intelligence and poetry. A round table. Vamos a tener una mesa redonda sobre inteligencia artificial y poesía. Tomorrow at 2 p.m. right here, we're going to have a conversation on artificial intelligence and poetry. And then we're going to have a multilingual poetry reading at 3 p.m. And then we move to the consulate of Argentina. And right now, the food is waiting for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.